Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. And in this video, uh, we're going to talk about hemp, one of my favorite subjects. Um, and right here, it, it says a USDA report shows that the hemp market saw growth in 2023 after declines in 2022. And this was um, in April 17th, 2024 article today's june 12th <laughs> haven't had time to get to this story but um yeah they're, they're saying wow hemp hemp is just increasing in sales it had um an 18 percent increase increase from 2022 and um industrial hemp reached a value of 291 million dollars last year in the united states and right here this is the usda the national hemp report in 2023 291 million and in 2022 it was 238 million so that that is an 18 percent increase and they're celebrating that because um why not right this this is a a budding industry it's very new um and has a lot of expansion and so they say that here, this is the Cannabis and Hemp Beyond Compliance. The global um, hemp industry is expected to escalate from $1.8 billion in 2023 to a staggering $16.2 billion by 2033. Staggering $16.2 billion by 2033. I mean, that, that sounds like a lot a, a decade from now. You know, I mean, even 1.8 billion, I bet you ridiculous products <laughs> can sell 1.8 billion. And hemp can and needs to be used for everything. So th this is, this should be a, a multi-trillion dollar industry every year. Okay. I, I mean, you know, they're talking, <laughs> you know, big growth. And uh, I mean, the, these obviously, the, this article here really talks about, um, you know, the, the profits, the, the trends and the profits and the products and the innovations and, and, um, the market growth, you know, that the industry has. And, you know, it's, it's got some, um, headings here, little, the industrial hemp market growth, the technological innovations, you know, it, it has some, um, areas where hemp, hemp can be improving, but, um, you know, th this right here is minuscule figures. If, if we look at right here, soft drinks, um, enterprise apps today.com, um, in 2023, global revenue by carbonated soft drinks and non carbonated industry. Um, so the carbonated is expected to be 372 billion and the non carbonated 289 billion. Okay, and we're talking that a decade from now, 16.2 billion in hemp <laughs> is is going to be staggering. I, I don't think so. Okay, right here, uh, worldwide sales of pharmaceuticals. Um, th this looks like uh, the drug, and then the company. So the the top drug is 25 billion. The the um the the next drug is is 15.3 billion. Worldwide sales, and in a decade, we we think 16.2 billion is going to be staggering. No, 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 no. Right here, even travel. Okay, I tried to get some, you know, some industry figures, and it says right here that um, airlines reporting company announced that, and this was in January of um, 2024. Okay, airlines reporting company announced that U.S. based travel agency air ticket sales totaled 95.3 billion in 2023 that's just travel based air ticket sales in the US okay so you know the the tourist industry hotels you know ground transportation shuttles you know excursions and, and all the tourist traps that you go to and restaurants and and everything okay huge figures there 
So 16.2 billion by 2023 isn't exactly staggering. And and part of the problem with that is, you know, it, hemp is new, okay? It, it was I mean it was legalized in Trump's first administration. I was like, let's do the make hemp happen campaign and you know, what why are you bothering us? So um here we have James Comer Right here, James Comer, <laughs> um, he said um, at, at a hearing that the FDA is putting its own bureaucratic priorities over the American people by refusing to regulate hemp products such as CBD. Well, you know, the problem is, one problem is that James Comer is, is really only talking CBD as a hemp product when hemp can and needs to be used for everything, like 50,000 textiles or more it used to be used for, okay? It can make fuel, it can build cars, it can build airplanes, it can make medicines, it can make everything that is plastic, you can build with it. <laughs> you, I, I don't know if there's anything you can't do with hemp. And it needs to be just used for everything. It used to be used for everything. You know, it's, this is pretty funny. Um, so, you know, they, they say that this, um, you know, lack of regulations is responsible for economic stagnation, <laughs> you know, in, in the CBD industry. Well, you know what? This, this just shouldn't be the only thing, the part of hemp that, that we're looking into. And, um, Right here, it says that, now this is interesting, the USDA is reportedly revoking hemp licenses for farmers who are simultaneously growing marijuana under state-approved programs. Okay, so, yeah, the federal government letting you know their might in your place, I guess. Where they're growing it, both of them are legal, but not to the feds. Okay, how ridiculous is that? Okay, that that's just absolutely ridiculous. But you know, con Congress isn't working for Americans. We, we all know that, and and Americans let them. It be, that's the reason Congress is so off the rails is because Americans have let them. But they say that. Um, <laughs> oh, right here. Um, internally at the USDA, they're encouraging their workers to exercise caution and avoid cannabis products, including federally legal CBD, as the agency observes an uptick in positive THC results amidst confusion as more states enact legalization. Well, you know what? Why are we having THC results? Oh, that's right. So that the government and businesses can tell Americans they're not good enough to employ and we need foreigners, okay? So this whole thing is ridiculous, and it's ridiculous that they're only talking really about CBD here. It really, if you read this, it's really what they're talking about when hemp can and needs to be used for everything. And so that that's part of the problem is they're just talking about a drop in the bucket of what it can be used for, which is CBD. Okay, you know that that's a kind of a medicine. Hemp, hemp can be medicine. It's um, it, it's just very, it, it's very very scary. And in 2020, the USDA announced plans to distribute a separate national survey to gain insights from thousands of hemp businesses that could inform um, its approach to regulating the industry. Okay, so just why do we have to have the government regulating the industry? Hemp, hemp was producing... Most everything before America was even a dream, <laughs> okay? Hemp should have been grandfathered into this country. It was. Hemp used to be so valuable in this country that you could pay your taxes with it, okay? We don't need the USDA to be giving us permission and just, you know, having bureaucracy regulating things. We all know what happens when the government gets involved. And right now, you know, <laughs> I mean, that was a 2020 study. They don't say the results of it. And right now, so far, 
the end result of it is $291 million in an industry that should be trillions of dollars. We, we shouldn't be talking about a staggering $16.2 billion by 2023. We should be talking about $16.2 billion in the United States alone monthly. That that is <laughs> that that is truly the potential of hemp. I mean that that might even be an underestimate. Uh, it's so we we've got a lot of ways to go here, people. Uh, I just uh, sent out Peter Navarro a, a letter. He's got some free time on his hands. I heard that he likes uh, the mail he's getting, and he was the the trade and manufacturing advisor to the Donald. And I'm like, hey, listen, the Donald's first campaign said we're considering your ideas. We've got to do better than that. We've got to lead. I'm like, Peter, (laughs) we could be leading the world with hemp, your trade and manufacturing. And, you know, why is Trump letting all of his opponents you know, talk trash about him environmentally when Trump did more for the environment by legalizing hemp than any politician or environmental worker worldwide has done for the environment in decades of their complete proven failure work. This is what the world needs. So, yeah, well, I'm not going to hold my breath hearing back from Peter, but uh, it, it would certainly be nice to because we tru- truly need to be um, aiming much higher than this, especially when these are the figures in pharmaceuticals and air travel and soft drinks, okay? So, hemp people, it's the future. Stay tuned.